Hello, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Hello, Bowser. Let me give you some some chicken. All right, welcome to the server. Oh, it's just now morning. I thought I'd recorded what I'm going to show you now. Whoops. Ah. Oh, hang on a second. Wait, why is that? network has been just really lousy okay that should be enough I'm not doing any crazy stuff in the end or anything okay so I wanted to show something that I thought I had recorded yesterday but my video recorder filled up so I wasn't recording when I thought I was recording so we're, go we're over here at uh, Vex's castle and Oh, look at this. You can close. And he's got his guard dog Cerberus. He's put up some... There we go. Um, his little fireplace. He had some problem with it uh, burning down things a little bit. So he had, to, uh, he had to improvise a little bit. But it seems like he's gotten it. That snarling sounded funny. All right, so down below here, come on. Down below his castle, uh, he started uh, started mining. Seems a reasonable place. And in one area, he found it was uh, somewhat common for slimes to uh, just sort of show up. Every now and then he'd be walking by and, oh, there's a slime hopping around. So, I, oh, this is taking forever. What the heck? There we go. So, I, uh, I did a little investigation and I found the actual slime chunk. We started digging it out a little bit just trying to improve it because we were right near the top of the the range where slimes will will spawn there we go goodness oh this is really hideous I'm sorry about this oh anyway so at one point we decided to go ahead and build a slime farm so I want to show that to you today if we ever get there Ugh. Get out. 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 Come on. So, um, yeah, so this is the area. It started digging out this area. And, oh, goodness gracious. Hang on a second. Come on. No, 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 no. Stop it. Oh, okay. Got out of the minecart. It's over there. It's going to be a bit of a pain. I don't know what's going on with the network. With our internet. So, eventually decided to dig it out and uh, make a proper slime farm. So this is it. So I'd encase the top in, in glass here. The spawning pads that you see down there are the are the shape of the actual slime chunk. So that's uh should be fully maximized. You might notice that they are two blocks thick. I saw Daedalus do this, and it made a lot of sense to me. There's glowstone embedded in the bottom layer of each pad to illuminate the pad below it. It takes up a little more extra space. If we gone with a one thick uh, spawning pad, it might have might have been able to squeeze in an extra an extra pad, but um, it works and it works pretty well. So of we three space around each side where the where the slimes can hop off and fall down. 
and they do that all on their own they don't need any encouragement and they fall down here and the water pushes them into this ring of cactus and which is surrounded by a, by a ring of hoppers which leads their drops into uh, into here I'm an item elevator very basic design items in the dropper here so that's off a little clock that powers this uh, torch elevator and it just pushes them up the hoppers nothing fancy the same item elevator that I used in my in my cactus farm in my single player world and and elsewhere it's a it's kind of my go-to design uh, and then here they come up into this chest woohoo there's eight slime balls there right now um, kind of surprised I'm not hearing anybody but so tend to AFK over here if you just walk around a little bit and then turn around and come back you'll find you'll hear slimes we're too too far away to hear them here um, I like sitting in this little alcove putting up dirt in front of me and just let it sit for a while do that when I'm at work and uh, and then after a little while I come out here and look in here and now oh, there's more slime balls so then I turn them into slime blocks and and Bob's your uncle so it works pretty well despite the fact that I can't hear any slimes right now and every now and then you'll hear the ticking of the item elevator but so anyway um, over the course of a few days just sort of AFKing for a few hours a day I was able to get several stacks of slime blocks which is kind of the ultimate goal I have plans for it um, and I think they're going to be useful when uh, tackling the ocean monument because they can be placed in and you don't have to mine them to get rid of them you can just uh, they, they break instantly that's kind of cool this is weird from up here there should be there should be guys spawning down on the lower levels what's going on here hmm. don't have too many entities anyway this works you just have to be a little patient that was our cactus farm to grow the cactus to put down below uh, just kind of left it there there's another slime chunk over that way it's a few chunks away it's not terribly not terribly convenient from you know from the purpose of uh, trying to combine with this one to increase the output of the farm Of course, now it's going to make a liar out of me. It's very annoying. Go back down again. It's all very quiet. Except the airplane flying overhead. The, uh, I put in polished granite a little square here that actually marks the edge of the chunk interesting okay well we're not going to see any see any slimes today unfortunately I hear a bat though that's that's too bad normally spent any time here at all they they do show up anyway so I just wanted to show you the uh, the slime farm and since my network seems to have recovered some maybe we'll go out to take a look at the other farm I didn't build it Vex built it um, it's a it's a bone farm because Vex installed some um, some automated farming uh, around his place and he needed lots of bone meal and he knew where a uh, skeleton spawner was 
so he uh, he built a bomb farm it's pretty cool he's apparently having some problems with um, items getting stuck in the elevator so I told him I'd take a look at it since we haven't been recording that long let's go ahead and do that and my network seems to be okay so we can make it through the portal the bone farm is that way past uh, Tom's gargantuan tower of lava uh, I built a, a portal for it so it's uh, it's pretty easy to get through in the nether hub if we can get through all right welcome to the nether um actually i i tried to record a little showcase for this last night too so the original nether room expanded quite a bit expanded the walls out i moved the uh nether ward farm and or yeah and the uh, the brewing stuff over here uh the tunnel that goes to the nether fortress is right here so i connected it this portal leads up to uh, Risk's sky base thingy. Um, I've got a, another portal out here that goes to a big portal that uh, that Vex put on top of his castle. <clears throat> his castle, sorry. And then down here, we've got uh, more portals. This is all slabbed on the floor, so it's really two and a half tall. Um, so the pigmen can't spawn in here. For the most part occasionally one does there's a few spots where they can but and then down that way lead is a portal leads to the desert over here is the portal that leads to the stronghold so we don't have to travel over land if we want to get to the end and then over here do i hear a magma cube i thought i did okay so this goes to the bone farm so let's step through I hear zombie. I hear. I'm hearing stuff that I shouldn't be hearing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Don't know what's going on here. There's a door back here behind the portal. Whoa. Oh, okay. I know what's going on here. Yeah, okay. Um, Vex is working on an iron farm, so that's what's going on there. Okay, um, and hang on a second. I gotta go. Uh, my phone's ringing. Okay, so let's go up here. Welcome back. Sorry about that. So here's, uh, here's Vex's, uh, oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Oh, yes. Hello, Mr. Villager. Ooh, interesting. Huh. <laughs> okay. Obviously, uh, we're having a little trouble here with the villagers. So he's trying to do the, the typical um, iron farm setup. He has a mock village here. And a few breeding pens off to the side. Woohoo! And uh, yeah, and then iron golems should start to breed in there. They should start spawning and uh, and then get pushed down into the center and then eventually come down here. Iron golems do not take fall damage. Uh, so 
he'll put in a uh, like a lava blade here to kill them yeah cool so let's uh, let's walk through here bones all right so we got a we got a bone farm going on here and uh, um, and the sorting area is down here so let's go take a look at that Wow there's a lot of redstone down here so I assume the item elevators are over here and item elevator oh Oh, I see the problem. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to talk to Vex about that. Um, I think I know why he's having problems, but apparently he's he's having issues stuff getting stuck down in the bottom droppers here. So he probably comes down and, and removes them. I don't know which one is the uh, the bones here, which is going to be the most common. Okay, so so anyway, farms up there. Water pushes all the skeletons down, and then he's got a little um, piston set up here that lets them fall down in and then crushes them. It's all hopper timer based. It's all pretty slick. There's a lot of redstone going on here, but uh, and then he's got a bunch of hoppers. Takes them into these item elevators, and he's got a sorter set up here. Oh, the sorters are right down here. So yeah, it sorts out the items and then uh, throws it into, huh, ah, oh, come on. There we go. I hate trap doors right above ladders. Uh, yeah, so then, so this is pretty cool. So he's got an on-off on -off switch here, um, turns on and off lights, and then, uh, the skellies will start to spawn. So let's see. I heard he had another zombie. Oops. Oh, I think I accidentally picked up some bricks. And some torches. Cool. Is he still up here? Yeah, he's he's working there. me toss down the bricks for him grab some bones here very cool all right here are more zombies I like his decoration here too. He's got the bones. So yeah, bones and arrows, and, and then he's got an overflow, miscellaneous stuff. Um, so yeah, this is all pretty. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have to do that if he wants spawn rates to improve. So there we go. Nice. All right. Um, oh goodness. May have to help with that at some point. All right, so I think that's all I want to show you. Let me go over here to the other portal that goes to the desert. There's a desert temple. I need to put more glass in uh, around here just so you can see outside. Pretty sweet. Uh, so this goes out to the desert temple. Let's see what time of day it is when I get there. So I put it right in the middle of the desert temple. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So now there's a door here. Let me eat before we go out there. Just in case. So if you need if we need sand, here we go. Bob's your uncle. Lots of sand. Uh, somebody's been planting cactuses too. Oh, and mining and not picking up their blocks. Oh. I'll help them with that. Goodness. So this is like if you need a bunch of sand, it's a convenient place to come and get it. 
Um, although it would be good if people wandered a little farther away from the desert temple before doing their massive mining. And if they did it so that it wasn't just strip mining, but hey, whatever. This will be fine. Uh, so yeah, this is a great place if you need a bunch of glass. You just come out here. Bring yourself a good shovel. And uh, just go to town. It's uh, very quick. And uh, we're right against the savanna here too, so... The desert is pretty, it's pretty good sized. Um, and there's plenty, like that mountain right there, I'm looking forward to tearing that down slowly over time. So yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, and some, some grass blocks. Because I have a silk touch on my shovel. Because that's how I roll. It's convenient sometimes. And we have a Silk Touch villager at, at Vex's uh, village. So, why not? There we go. Anyway, so I'm going to collect some sand here. Then I'll go back. It's still fairly early in the day. And, uh, yeah. And then I'm going to keep working on the, the Enderman farm. Because I'm looking forward to that. Having tons of Ender Pearls and and then i can start working on project after that we got a witch we have a we have a swamp somewhere um vex gave me the coordinates he found a, a witch hut so it'd be nice to build a witch farm kind of wanting to wait until 18 comes out 181 because they expanded the spawning areas on the on the witch on the witch huts um now given that we already generated the witch hut that he found i don't know if we will take advantage of the expanded that's weird of the expanded spawn area don't know um and uh I heard somebody said something about you can go into your generated structures data file and delete it and um, it'll reset it. I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, given that we have some generated structures here that we actually rely on. Um, I don't want to reset. <laughs> I don't want to destroy like the desert temple here. But uh, I don't know. So we'll... Uh, and I'm sure if, if if it doesn't work out for this one, we can uh, we can make a we can find another because there's more there's got to be more swamps around somewhere. So, okay, well I'm just rambling now. I think that will uh, that will do it for now. Showed you what I wanted to. It's a reasonably short little episode here. Um, and I'm just going to collect glass and some sand and then uh, go back home and uh, figure out next steps on the Enderman farm and such. And then I will uh, I'll be back and I'll show you something else. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye. Okay. One last thing before I go. Just figured I'd show you the uh, current state of the 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 nether fortress this might be a little dangerous because I hear a gas floating about up there uh, but we can take a peek so this this is about 400 a little over 400 blocks of tunnel to get you down here um, I built a little room with a little brewing stand some brewing supplies some nether wart you know the usual um, some building supplies here and uh, my uh, ender chest. Just in case we get into trouble. Let's do this. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've gone out here and out into the, the nether fortress. Where's that gas? And I've started uh, flattening out the walkways. So this is one pathway here. 
um, flattening out the walkways, putting, oh hello guys, and uh, putting half slabs in between and then connecting these two. Uh, I left some, uh, some nether rack here because, because frankly it's, it's a little handy that, uh, that it's too short of a space for these guys to walk. <laughs> So, hello. You didn't drop anything, did you? So anyway, um, it's a little tricky working out here. I should probably go back and relight all this up. So I've been going through and just doing it. I'm gonna flatten this whole freaking uh, fortress. Well, I'll take the blaze rod. Thank you. And uh, because I'm out here and working a little bit, flattening, bringing back a few more blocks, and turn around and there's, you know, five blazes and and three wither skeletons just standing there waiting for me. Um, so probably while I'm working, I should should do that. But I'm thinking putting in something, maybe removing this nether rack and placing in something else. Uh, maybe just over the center section here so that I could retreat to it. Where is that? Oh, it's right there. It's that one there. Goodness gracious. Um, am I prepared to deal with this? I think so. Let's put some blocks down on the bar here. And uh, I've been seeing... Oh, there it is. Interesting. Oh, it's still up there. So there is a, I guess, a fairly sizable quantity of lava up above here. Still dripping down from the same blocks. Oh, maybe it's gone now. Huh. Okay. Well, this, th we can see this, right? Oh, no, no, no. It's still dripping right there. So we can do this. Okay. So there's, there's, a, there's more than just a lava block up there. There's a pool. Okay. We'll have to deal with that at some point, I suppose. But anyway, uh, there's also a walkway up there. And I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. If I'm going to go up and do the same thing up there. Hello, Mr. Blaze. Um, if I'm going to do the same thing up there. Or if... Um, Uh, let's see here. Whew. Wow, that was I probably that was not too bright. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to do the same thing up there, as down here. Try to connect them in some way, make it all like a big part of the same farm. Um, the section down here is pretty sizable. You know, that goes in. There's dead ends down there and and whatnot. Um, if we go down here. Hi guys. There's plenty of quartz. That's a dead end. Dead end. Dead. Oh. And these intersections I can expand out. 
Yeah. But if I go down this walkway, oh, hello. If I go down this pathway here, well, where is it? Huh. Uh, there's a blaze spawner down here. <laughs> That's <laughs> the uh, the short story. So, it's up some stairs. Dead end. Dead end. Well, at least that's an intersection. That'll be good. Maybe it's uh, down here. Oh, hello. There it is. Police spawner. Um, not going to go deal with that right now. But... Uh, yeah, so... Oh, that scared me. Ooh. Yeah, they, they'd spawn up there and then jump down very stupidly. And occasionally, one of the blazes will shoot one of the pigmen, and for some reason, the pigmen gets mad at me. So that's kind of annoying. Anyway, so that's the start of the, uh, the nether farm, the wither skeleton farm. And, uh, yeah, so I got a few blaze rods out of that. So, getting enough blaze rods that I'm considering, although I get plenty of coal from the, the wither skeletons. Considering uh, switching over to using blaze rods for fuel in the nether. Because why not? So, anyway, that's it. I've got on long enough now. I'm um, going to head back home. And, uh... Yeah, until next time, I will see you later. Bye.